Hey everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner. Today's video, while well, we got the plastics off doing the rad relocation kit, it's a perfect time to check the valves in my quad to make sure the valves are still in spec and possibly adjust them. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Every quad is going to be different, but the, but the procedure and how to do it is going to be similar, so let's get to work. Alright, while we got the plastics off, in order to get access to the valves, your exhaust valves are here, your intake valves are there. We gotta remove the air box on top. Once we remove the air box up top, remove this shield, we're gonna have better access. Then we're gonna remove the plug so we can turn the engine over freely. This is your inspection plug, we're gonna remove that to line up the top dead center and probably remove this to make the engine easier to turn. So let's go do her up. Spark plug taken out, let's crack the sucker open. Holy shit, that thing's fucking retard tight. So in order to ensure that's top dead center, if I shine it in the hole here, you can see there's a line, and then shine it in your piston, and your piston should be at the very top, because you don't want to do your valve alignment if your stroke is on the bottom, or not on the compression stroke. To remove the valve cover caps for your inspection, it's a 10 mil. Now this cap should just come off. Oh, it does come off just lately. There we go. So now I need to get some feeler gauges and check and see what we're sitting on. So my exhaust is supposed to be 0 .06, but it's a little on the tight side. So I'm going to have to get a wrench for that. Looks like it could be shit like a 6 to 7 mil maybe. So that's your jam nut. You just want to crack that open. And then we're going to set her up. So all I did to adjust my valves is once the jam nut was loose, I put a pair of pliers up top here and I just turned it. Somehow I didn't get it in the video when I first filmed it, but I'll try to get a better light so you can see. There, I got a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I know it's uh, not the greatest, but hopefully you can kind of see from that. Now, if once you got it set up right, you should be able to pull it out, but there should be a drag on it too. And then we'll just tighten down that jam nut. I can pull it out with the drag. It takes a little bit of force to get her in. Now I'll do the other side. Same thing when you're making these things tight. You don't need to go retard tight. Just snug them up. If you want to torque them up to the proper specs, eight to ten mil probably five to eight pounds of torque somewhere in there I would think well if you fuck up like I do and adjust your valves 180 degrees out of phase you can do it with the plastics on it just makes the skill level a hell of a lot fucking harder now to do the exhaust stroke the rear ones you can get at as well by removing the inner plastic fender and I lifted up the plastics a little bit just to get in there and it seemed to work all right so when your valves are properly set up, this is how it should sound. If you get a lot of tapping noises, you probably set your valves 180 degrees out. When your valves are 180 degrees out, this is how it will sound. All right, I'm gonna end my video at that on adjusting the valves. Actually, I know I really shouldn't have done it, but I went back and I, um, did the intake valves at 0.005, even though they're supposed to be at 0.004. I put them on a really tight side of 0.005 that I had to pull it out, which was a lot better than what it was. As the valves were tighter than a fucking 60 year old nun's cunt. It's probably been about four years since the valves were last done in this and they were extremely tight. So I backed them all off and then readjusted them. And so we'll see how it runs. Um, if I'm having any issues, I'm going to have to go through the painstaking process of redoing it and redoing it properly to point zero zero four. But considering that the valves are a lot tighter than being out point zero zero one, I don't think it's really going to matter. So I'm going to drink my fucking beer. Hopefully everything turns out alright because there's a lot of things wrong with this quad. There's a lot of things that have been neglected over time and i got to get them sorted out. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.